They say necessity is the mother of invention, and some local parents have taken that saying to new heights. They've become entrepreneurs to create solutions to help their kids, and in the process, help others too. Yuling Bear is here with Kidsburg to tell us about these amazing people and products. You know, I've been fortunate enough this week to speak with all four entrepreneurs, and they are each amazing. I, I just, I'm like very touched by their stories. Even reading about them, I just can't imagine what they've gone through to get to this point. Yeah. And so first up, we want to talk about Gus Gear. Gus Gear, yes. So the mother is Sarah Pela, mm -hmm. and her son Gus is um, nonverbal autistic, but had intestinal failure as a child. So he needed a central line. And if you don't know, a central line is a tube that they have to put into your chest, and this tube either delivers nutrients, helps hydrate, um, puts medication into your system, and it's a very delicate line, and so it can break easily, and if it breaks, it's, it's life or death for some children. Right. And so her son Gus wants to be a boy and wants He's to play. Playing. He just wants yeah. to play. Kids want to play, right? So she created this central line wrap that he could wear, protect the central line, and then he was able to just play as a child and she could worry less. That's great. So, and from there, she's created other products as well, such as a feeding tube and a trachea um, tube holder. Um, but she's had these great stories of people who said, you know, one, one boy had 15 line breaks in three months. Wow. Started to wear this Gus wrap and, and he... hasn't had any. And uh, Abrams Nation, and this is about safe sleep. And, and we, we think of young children and moving them out of the crib, but this was happening to an older child. Yeah, so Abram is autism and is autistic, excuse me. And sometimes when you're autistic, you don't have a sense of safety around you. You're not quite sure. So he would like get out of his sleeping crib or system. And, and she was so worried that he would hurt himself. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, right? right? Um, or have a seizure. And so she created the safety sleeper. And it's this enclosed sleeping um, uh, equipment that allows him to sleep safely inside. You can zip it and they'll be inside. It's made of medical grade equipment, aluminum frame, so it's light. You can fold it, you can pack it, you can take anywhere. It can go over a bed, it can go on the floor. And Abram would sleep in it, feel safe. She was able to sleep then. And you know, as a mom, that's really important. Right, right. And as he got older, he would then carefully say like, mom, I don't need the zipper to go all the way this time. And now he's in a normal bed. Wow. So, and Again, many people, these parents, they develop these products and they realize other families need it and yeah. they share their stories and start companies to help share these products. Well, and that's much like our next product and this is from Hanatopia. Hanatopia, the mother's Heather Schuker and her daughter Heather, I mean uh, Hannah, excuse me, is epileptic. So she has lennox gusto syndrome and so she needed an EEG to monitor brain activity. And so when you have an EEG as a child, there are 26 cords that they glue into your head and then they wrap it in gauze. And you can imagine for any child that's a very scary um, image. Yeah. So she created what she calls a nilly noggin to yes. wrap the cords cover the gauze mm -hmm. and she uses all these fun bright fabrics that then makes a child feel better you know it brings a little smile and then they're more calm and the test goes well like you said if they walked into the bathroom and saw this in the mirror it might be a little disturbing to them this eases them a little bit and we also wanted to talk about this uh, new chair the new chair, so Brandon Daveler is the creator of New Chair along with a team at Pitt. Um, he is not a parent, but he understands intimately what is happening with children. And his main goal is to give people the opportunity to do something that they didn't think was possible. So Brandon at the age of 15 had a motocross accident and is left, was left quadriplegic. And so he's in a wheelchair. And if you think about a wheelchair, it uses a battery, it's heavy, it's not waterproof. Right. Kids want to be able to go to water parks, they want to do things outside. So he and a team at Pitt developed a wheelchair that is waterproof, it uses compressed air. And as they were developing it, this water park in San Antonio, Texas called Morgan's Wonderland said, we want to use that for kids that come to our park so everyone can enjoy this. And so he's bringing it to market now. And you know, you, you can go to his website and see this video of a girl for the first time, she's able to go around a water park oh. on her own and get to enjoy everything. That's amazing. All the stories you've shared today and the products are simply incredible. And like you mentioned, helping so many other families. Thank you, Yuling. And for more information on all of these and all kinds of positive things in our community for kids and families, check out the Kidsburg website. Thank you so much, Yuling. And be sure to sign up for the weekly e-blast so you're always in the know with the latest happenings for your kids.